There's the tide level there on the wall. Well, here's my little 25D that was at my parents' place on uh, Swamp Road. It got flooded about two metres under water and about half a metre of silt around it inside the shed during the cyclone. But uh, we're going to see if we can resurrect it. So just yeah, going to suck it and see really, see what happens, see where we get to. So first thing that we'll go, the generator will come off that, it will need to clean out, starter, same deal. Uh, I might start with just the steering box and gear lever plate off. We'll need to clean the gearbox out, of course. It depends what it's like in there, we'll have to have a look. So, it was pretty well covered in silk. So, the uh, <coughs> yeah, engine sump off and yeah, we're going to take take that drawbar off and then we can get to the bottom of the gearbox and open all that up drop all the fluids out on and off makes it easier to work on i'm gonna pull these uh tap it um or lifter covers off see what's in there pull the rocker cover off see what's in there hopefully shouldn't have to go too far into it i did uh when well, about two weeks after the cyclone, managed to get in, open the decompressor up, and um, chuck a, or fill the whole exhaust right up with oil, so it's not seized at the moment, so hopefully that's a bonus for us. Yeah, air cleaner all needs stripping out. Fuel pump will be the same. Have a good look in there. Make sure it's not clogged up. The diaphragm, the back. Fuel water drop, what well, water was in the fuel tank out. There's still fuel in there, so we'll just play that by ear. There's the bottom off the air cleaner that was completely chock, absolutely filled with silt. So, uh, yeah, I might start um, getting some bits and pieces off and see where we get to from there. Oh, uh, well, here we are, a couple of wins and a couple of losses, maybe, but. That's how it goes, starters off, generators off, in the top here, that's all just silk, just stuff, so all that will need cleaning, and then same some down in here too, as you'd expect comes in the top and just filters down through everything, the clutch, yeah. Might be a bit wet in there, but I think it'll be all right. Still heaps of them and silt under the bonnet. Did get a pretty good wash, but you obviously can't get everything. Um, drop the engine oil out. Gearbox all that under there. That's draining. I did actually also drop most of the water out of the gearbox and... Um, motor fairly early on so it's not too badly water a lot there's a bit of water in there from washing down but you had obviously silt in the in the intake there but luckily inside the old plungers for the injection pump good as gold even pulled the uh cold start off there that was all nice and free and still full of grease so here's the Here's the cover off the injection pump, no, no sign of silt or water or anything, and that's all working nice and good. So, I think I'll call that a win, it's cool that the, pump, the injection pump doesn't have to be completely stripped, and there's the oil just draining out of the three drains in the gearbox, so I'll let that tick away and pull that... Uh, filter cover off and see what's under that and I uh, might make a start on stripping those starter and the generator down yeah so the starter's not bad you can see the tide level in there it's just a little bit of 
knock in the bottom, but actually pretty good. So might just give that a quick clean. The generator, yeah, it's had some stuff in it. It'd be good to get that apart actually, but the old two through screws are just battling me a bit, but I'll well eventually. There we go, what a delightful mess we got here. All sorts of stuff. Got some pieces of grind on it. So we'll give that a good clean back together and should still work. So I wasn't happy with this. This is the live terminal that comes in through the goes in here comes in through the starter it was pretty well corroded from the silt and stuff so wasn't happy I thought I'd pull it out had a bit of a struggle though but look at that the nut that was on there had welded it or arced and welded itself to the thread so yep yeah, that's why that wouldn't come out so I'll clean this up We'll make it all nice and fresh, good contacts, means a good starter. Nice turning over nice and fast, and that'll give us the best chance of getting stuff started. Righty, here we go, got that cleaned up. This uh, little insulating piece here, that's toast. So, made a new one out of a nice new piece of mica. So we should be ready to chuck that all back together and should work. Generator, yeah, I've given that a clean up. Not overly convinced that that is going to be all right. That end looks like something funny has happened with the varnish, but I don't know. Maybe it was like that before the flood, but it did used to work, so... We'll stick it back together and see how that goes. There we go, back together. The positive's all nicely insulated there, so I'll give her a whack and see what happens. Oh, bad contact. Just like that. Hello, know, mate. Chuck some lube in this little port here and check it back on. Well, about me for the day. Top off the gearbox. As you can see in the bottom there, there's a few bit of sludge. Some of that is, I think, just milky sludge, but there's also, um, I think there's a little bit of fine. Mucky stuff in there. So I think the plan is I'll um, steam clean that out, hopefully. To hopefully wash most of it out. Get all nice and clean. I've um, closed the injection pump back up because that was looking good. So we don't want to get any extra stuff in that. Yeah. Murky in the bottom, and also got the sump off. So, apart from the muck on the end of the oil pump, there 
it's not looking too dirty. It's a little bit sitting up on these ledges just around the sump. But hopefully that'll all clean up with a good wash. Um, yeah, that probably wants a good wash up. It hasn't actually turned over or run since it's been underwater. So, like it hasn't even turned over at all. So, I'm banking on uh, basically that oil system should be nice and clean because it won't have been able to get in there. So, yeah, wash what we can at the top here. And uh, go from there. Start putting it back together. had the steam cleaner in here so that's looking pretty good all the muck's gone and uh, gave it a good coat of CRC to um, just get rid of the water and stop anything rusting too badly so that's looking quite nice in there now and they also down the gearbox department same treatment so that's had a good wash out on the bottom most of that sludge is gone and uh, yeah just a coast coating of CRC just squirted all over there just to keep any moisture at bay that's looking pretty good now I'm pretty happy with that so um, yeah I'm going to go and start We've got some sumps to clean out and some other stuff so we'll get that stuff clean and we might be starting to put it all back together and Fingers crossed, hopefully today we might be able to start this thing up. Hope for the best. That's a pretty good example of what we're finding here. I mean, this is just chocker and all of this stuff. It's just mud. That's come out of that lemon water that got in there. It's just full. Look at it. But all of that's just the motor sump. It's all been in there, and you can see in here. There's the gearbox. It's the gearbox sump, same thing. It's just that fine, silky goo in everything. So we've got to get all that out because if we don't, we'll them and wear something out real fast. So. We'll be right. There we go, one nice clean sump. All those bits are done too. And one box full of yuck. It's just unbelievable how much plumbing silt actually comes in and just settles like in there behind the light fittings. You know, that much water you know, just gets filled up with water, but the amount that just drops out is just amazing. So, it's starting to look pretty good. Here's a view from down below, looking pretty clean. Just been uh, going over everything here, but yeah, there's a few little ledges that can... Uh, Get stuff on them, especially up in the front. Right in the front there seems to be a good one. So well, that'll wipe out the brag. Make sure we're good, but that's the last sign of sludge I can see. So I'm actually ready for the sump to go back on. Alright, here we go. Rear PTO cover on. Gearbox cover on. Steering box back in. Around this side, we've got starter motor, generator, all hooked up, ready to go. So, 
got the uh, handles broken off on this one. I've got that decompressor um, open at the moment. So first thing, I'm going to spin it over and just make, I'll let it blow whatever's in the combustion chambers, let it blow that out. And uh, then I might uh, close the decompressor and give her another go. And then at that stage, it should start, theoretically. See what happens. Control out. So decompressor closed. Stops in. So I think I need a cold start. Let all pressure come up. So there we go. See what happens. Hopefully no knocking. So yeah, that was definitely hydraulic in then, which is not good. Um, but you can see in the gap there, I've just released this manifold off. Just draining all of that rubbish out. Look at all the man. Troubling out. That's probably some salt and a bit of oil and whatever I chucked down there. So that's what was blocking the cylinders up and then Staying in the manifold, so. <laughs> Get that out, you might be able to turn it over. I was getting pretty close to midnight last night, so the battery was flat. I let it charge overnight. We're going to try again. But this seems to be turning over all right now, so see what happens. <laughs>
so far so good. I did just drive it out to see the clutch is stuck to the flywheel. I guess that was predictable. Um, hopefully, a bit of work we can get that undone. Should just free up with the, um, I don't know, drive around on the brakes or something. Generators all working as it should, so that's a bonus. Um, it does read backwards on the ammeter because it hasn't been the ammeter hasn't been switched over going back to negative earth, so it just reads backwards. So. There we go. Fingers crossed it keeps running like this, but um, I'll run it a couple of times. Um, I think I'll do a, then I'll drop the oil filter, give it a, a bit of a service again. I might do a couple, couple of oil and filter changes just to make sure the stuff's got out of it. But other than that, we'll see how it goes.